everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is gonna be a Thanksgiving look we're gonna go from this to this this is the look that we will be creating it's in between a fall slash Thanksgiving look so if you guys want to learn how I did this look stay tuned make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and then let's get started Okay, so I assumed you guys and so the first thing I'm going to start with is with some Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to use a beauty blender and then I put some on the back of the cap and I'm going to put that underneath my eye because there is a glitter and I don't want to have any fallout. So I'm going to apply it right here. I'm also going to put some right here because sometimes my shadow tends to go that way. So now we're going to move on to the primer. I'm going to use my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And you can use any finger. I just like my metal finger. Sorry, I'm not flicking anybody off. Now I'm going to go back to the same powder with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to set that just so it does increase up. And I'm mostly going to work off this palette. This is the Morphe 35OM palette, the first version. So I'm going to start off with this orange. And this is going to be my transition shade. And I'm using a Morphe E23 brush to do that. So basically, I am going to apply my transition shade on top of my crease, just so all my shadows can blend, similar to this side. So I actually start in the beginning. And I am going to blend it out. And then don't be scared to apply a lot because you will blend it out. Now I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm gonna use a MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to apply this one starting at the end over here. Once again, I am pulling towards my eyebrow. I'm going to go back to that Morphe brush with no more product and just blend it out. So now I'm going to go into these three shades. And I'm using this Morphe E28 pointer brush. And I'm literally just going like da 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 da. And I'm tapping off the accent. I never blow on my brushes because. I don't want it to be patchy with the spit particles on it or saliva particles. So then I'm starting once again over here. And this time I'm going a little bit more lower. And I am intensifying that red shade. Now I'm gonna switch over to this pigment by MAC. This is basic red. And I'm gonna use a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. This is the E45. And I'm literally just gonna dip a little bit, like just a little bit. And make sure to tap off the excess. And I'm going to start applying it just to make it a little bit darker. And I'm literally not doing it as perfectly because I'm going to blend it out. I just want the color to be placed. I'm going to use the other tapered brush to blend this part out. I'm going back to my Soft Walker Paint Pot and I'm using this Morphe M421. It's a really small brush. This is going to be a half cut crease and I'm going to cut it out with this brush. So now I'm going to use the Studio Fix Shivering White by MAC. And I'm using this Morphe E10 brush. And I'm going to set that, believe it or not. And then... So when I was applying it on the other eye, I didn't really like the white. So then what I did... I'll show you guys a little try. I went back to my blending brushes 
and I picked up the red color. And then I started at the end right here to blend it out. And then I was like, oh, I still don't like it. So then I grabbed I think it was the same one and then I just started like doing the whole thing and it should change color and I turned to this little light pink shade before my camera turns off I just run it through I'm gonna let the camera cool down for a few minutes and I will be right back Okay, so I am back now that the camera has cooled down a bit. So I already did my liner and I finished off blending the eye just so I can speed up the process. Now we're gonna move on to the glitter liner. So to do the glitter eyeliner, basically what I use is my dual adhesive. This is the eyelash glue. Now I'm gonna use this MAC 266 brush and then I mixed two glitters. I used a red and an orange and I got these glitters And I got these glitters from Target, from the craft department. So they're not like expensive glitters. So I'm just applying it. So the lashes that I'm gonna use today are from Nubansom. These are the Bella Mink. Well, that is a drying. I am going to use this brush from Morphe. This is a Y11 to wipe this off. And then I am going to wipe it away with all the fallout. Now I'm gonna use Fix Plus just to set the side of my face. So I'm gonna use Beaming Blush by MAC. It's a highlighter slash blush. And I'm using the Morphe M509. So for my highlight, I am using Oh Darling by MAC. And I'm using the Morphe M501. And I am going to apply it. Right. I'm doing like a C. I do put some right there. I'm gonna use my Lily Lashes applicator and a compact to apply the lashes. Make sure to apply them as close as possible to your lash line. I'm going to use this orange with a pencil brush by Sigma. And then I use this Sigma short shader brush, it's the E20. And I use this greenish color. And I apply that closer to my actual lash line just to add that right there. So I'm going back to my highlight color to apply it right on my tear duct on the top and the bottom. Now I'm gonna use this MAC mascara for my bottom lashes. And now we're gonna do the lips, which is the last part. Now I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Family Jewels. If you're a beginner, make sure to use a lip liner because this does get messy. And I'm gonna top it off with a lip gloss by MAC. This is Spice. So this is a completed look for fall and also Thanksgiving. Little. So basically it's a half cut crease with a glitter liner and a glossy lips. 
If you guys like this look, make sure to leave comments down below. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys next week.